So quickly wanted to review the fairy tale episode that I missed yesterday. For the most part, episode was pretty good. We did get a bit of recaps of some of the scenes that happened back in, you know, earlier parts of the story. I didn't really mind that for the most part because it was very brief when they did happen, and some of it, I believe, was new. Some of the scenes were newly animated or different things that we haven't seen before. But ultimately, in the grand scheme of things, it kind of was necessary because this episode was centered around Urza versus Kagura. I mean, Minerva was there, and don't get me wrong again. I don't know what it is about. It's either the anime mixed with some stuff that's been going on in the manga recently, or it's just something, but, like, Minerva is, like... I really like her. I think she's fucking awesome. So, you know, the way she's pulling things along, she's even like, you know, I'm a king, and, and I acknowledge the fact that I can't be both of y'all, and that's why I'm doing this. So she got Meliana up there for ransom, and is just like, winner, come up against me. I'm the king right here. So I'm really liking Minerva right now. But again, going back to the recaps, I feel as though the recaps in this one, it was like scattered throughout, and it just really added towards the whole situation because we get that big revelation towards the end that Kagura is the little sister to Simon or, or Simon? Simon, I think it is? I don't know how to pronounce Simon or Simon, whatever. The dude that died in the Tower of Heaven, and everything added up. You know, you get to see Jalal's defeat and you know, everything of how it went down and how he died ultimately. So it was all necessary in, in case people forgot as well it was nice because again a lot of that stuff happened and it's not like we get a recap every day about that so that was good in that aspect and ultimately it just felt like things were really moving forward with this fight and it really gave like a nice ending with obviously you know we ideally i think we all know that it's not the death of erza you know i'm pretty sure everyone can assume that Erza's is not going to be beheaded uh, at the end of this episode and obviously from the preview as well it pretty much spoils which is unfortunate but ultimately felt that this episode it did a couple different things that advanced in that aspect also it showed that at the very least we can assume with all the blood that was splattered everywhere when kagura unsheats the sword shit is real. Like, they were all scared for her to unsheath her sword, so you can assume at the very least that her unsheathing her sword is some serious shit. Some of the comedy bits with Natsu and future Lucy, I ain't gonna lie, I kinda got a little bit of a chuckle when he's carrying her, and he's like, hey, she lost some weight, and he's like running with her, and like, you know, it was just kinda like funny as well, because we don't necessarily know how far into the future this Lucy is from, like, is she 10 years from now, or is she, a, you know, a couple days from now, who the hell knows? So it kinda makes you think like, so is he just fucking with her like oh yeah this is much lighter is she actually much lighter i thought that was kind of funny and also a contrast to the situation like who knows maybe she's the same weight and he's just fucking around teasing her we also got some very good setups in this episode you basically have loxus he's ready to go at it but then you have orga shows up and it's lightning god slayer versus just a lightning dragon slayer i guess he would be so we got some very good setup right there and then of course we got god Geo versus rogue which i mean at the end of the day of not so solo rogue and sting together it's not too much of a mystery what might happen right here. And then we also get the mystique of what Sting's big plan is. And I don't want to spoil anything or say anything about, you know, the outcome of all this. But I'm just like, eh, as far as like his whole big master plan that the cameras can't even capture him because he just came up with this diabolical plan on how to win the competition for Sabretooth and get his cat back. We also have some advancement as well as far as the eclipse goes because the princess already inserted the keys and unlocked the gate so things are moving in that aspect and I feel like this episode while it had a couple different things going on for the most part it definitely felt like a lot of good progression like the fight between Erza and Kagura moving forward and oh my god the voice actors for Kagura great fucking scream there I'm not gonna lie I'm one that I really like to feel the emotion when a character screams like that's why I think sometimes a dub might fall short or something because a character like you know they don't really scream like the way the Japanese can do it and oh my god when she was just like losing her shit like, trembling, it really... I, I felt it, I ain't gonna lie, it was, it was a good moment right there, they, they pulled that off very well with Kagura just losing it towards Erza when she finds out that Erza is partially responsible for Simon's death, because he was basically protecting her from Jalal, but the thing is, I wouldn't be surprised that the main reason why she's losing her shit right here is because Erza didn't tell her, and she's just finding all this out now, and it's like, you were responsible and you're still protecting Jalal. Had Erza found her before all this, and her Emiliana told her, she might not have felt this way. She might have felt a little bit different. Maybe she would have felt like, I gotta protect you at all costs because my brother died trying to protect you, so you deserve it, or something like that. Who the hell knows, right? I mean, that, that got, goes to show different circumstances can make a situation very different. Like, if she met her before all this and told her 
everything she might have been worshipping Erza and protecting her with her entire life. And just ultimately it felt like a pretty damn good episode. The recap was necessary where it was placed and ultimately we got some good progression in there. So I'm gonna give this episode 7.5 out of 10. We got revelation regarding Kagura's relation to Simon and why she's angry at Erza. We also got a couple different things, you know, progressing. The gates have been open for Eclipse. The only thing missing is some humans to open it. And just ultimately I felt like things were really moving along. We got setups, we got different things going on and I just really enjoyed this Erza versus Kagura and I'm looking forward to seeing how they handle the next portion of this battle and Minerva. Anime, if there's one thing you're doing right, it's definitely you're making me net what seem like some evil, sadistic bitch, and I like it. But let me know what you guys think, first of all. What do you think regarding this Erza versus Kagura thing? Do you think Kagura has a right to be upset at Erza for Erza being partially responsible for Simon's death? Or do you think that she should be, if anything, putting that sword back down and saying, you know what, if my brother died protecting you, I should honor his memory and protect you too. And just your overall thoughts of the episode. But that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you do that as well. I'm Fanel World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.